Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you knew, if you knew, you missing out. Just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and tune in. Get your snacks. Relax, okay? Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started, y'all. First things first, all right? Um, let's go ahead and get into Cola Ray. Okay, now, apparently, as you all may or not know, um, the Grammys has just happened. And um, apparently, Cola Ray was asked in an interview about the scammies. And um, she feels like she was snubbed. All right. Um, Cola Ray says she was snubbed at the 2024 Grammys. After all of my hard work, dedication, and putting female rap on the map, this is what I get in return. Bullshit. Now, I hope this is not real. Okay. I hope this is not real. Um, what map? Okay. Doors map from Door to Fucking Explorer? Because I don't know what else fucking map she put on. Like, what what, what did you put on anybody's map, Cola Ray? Okay. I'm being real with you. Um, that's the thing I realized about Cola Ray is that, like, she is really, really, really entitled in regards to, you know, like, her career. Um, you know, she hasn't really put in that much work to be, you know, begging for any type of, you know, credibility, okay? Um, these new girls do one song and one thing and think they deserve accolades. Like, you need a few more years to actually, like, you know, showcase that you're actually worth something. Not even a few years. It's sometimes it takes up to a decade for people to actually respect your work. Like, people don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cola Ray literally charted one song in 2023, okay? And, like, I don't know, what, what, like, what did you put on the map? I think maybe Cola Ray, I think she really desperately wants to be on that, you know, higher status, you know, the top female list or whatever. You know, she wants to be on these, um, you know, Grammy boards, you know, getting all these Grammys and stuff like that to make herself feel better about herself. Um, but you're not there, Koi. And I'm not saying she never was going to get there. Well... I'm not saying she's never going to get there because you don't know. You, you know, you, we never know, okay? You never know how blessings may work for people. Um, but Cola Ray, I think that she hasn't even released a, a proper album. Like, her albums doesn't even make noise. Like, her albums don't even get any real buzz, okay? Like, if you're going to sit around and complain, at least make sure your album's good. Like, if, at least make sure your album's good, okay? Now, also, I do personally think that, um, you know, Cola Ray really wants to be a legend okay of course you know if you are doing something you of course you want to be a legend okay um but legends don't get hype off of one hit and then beg on their knees for an award or beg on their knees for accolades and recognition okay um that's kind of not really how that works Okay, and you know, one thing about it though, I love delusional people. Delusional people make life fun, okay? They make life interesting because Call the Right is delusional as fuck, okay? Delusional. And I knew she was delusional um, when she thought that Lotto was dissing her her song. I knew she was delusional. I knew she loved press. I knew she loved PR. I knew she loved to just be saying outlandish shit for clicks and views. I knew she was crazy, okay? But we're gonna see how it go with her. Um, I'm not praying on her downfall. I promise you, I'm not. I'm just commenting on what I see. And what I see right now is not what she's claiming to be. And it's just not really, you know, adding up, okay? But that's just my personal opinion on that. Um, yeah. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that, y'all? Um, what map? <laughs> like, what map? Like, what fucking map did you put on? Okay, let me let me stop. Let's move on to this next topic because I just can't. Sweetie is coming, y'all. I repeat, Sweetie is coming. Um, apparently, Saweetie will be releasing her new single called Rich Tivities this Friday. Um, she has a new song coming out after she's kind of been MIA from the music scene for a while. Um, and, um, you know, she's basically just releasing a lot of different singles to build up hype. Now, me personally, um, wasn't she supposed to be releasing an album? Like, what happened to her album, okay? Um, she's pulling on Normani again. But the thing about it is, Saweetie is just a rap version of Normani. Except that Sweetie doesn't have real talent, okay? Um, Sweetie's supposed to drop her album years ago. But then again, the reason why nobody's pressing for a Sweetie album because nobody's sitting around all day like, oh, damn, I want a Sweetie album. Nobody, like, no, no, nobody has ever said that. Nobody's ever saying that. Maybe when she first came out in 2019, 2018, 2017. But now, nobody, we, like, we don't want a Sweetie album, okay? But, you know, she's dropping these singles to build up hype for her allegedly releasing her next album. I believe that's what she's trying to do. Um, but I don't know if, like, people are going to tune into her new song, Rich Tivities, because this is my first time hearing about the song, okay? And I think she's been teasing it for a little minute now, okay? And I don't know, like, what 
like sweetie what is going on okay what is going on um and um actually after um you know doing my research there's actually been a snippet of the sweetie song and i don't know y'all i don't know can we save her at this point like i don't know i don't know if we could save sweetie no more okay and you know it just gets to a certain point where like it's just not working anymore for her um but hey you know she has her fans she has her icy girls is that what y'all call icy girls is that what y'all get called if, if you if you are a sweetie fan or icy girl um comment down below are you looking forward to sweetie are you looking forward to her music her album her next singles because i just feel like she when she announces her songs it's like she's going into an empty crowd and saying my song's coming out guys and there's no reaction like like like, like nobody gives a fuck and I think that's kind of what I feel like with Sweetie. Like, she, like she goes out to open air with no crowd, no nothing, no audience, and announces music. Like, I feel like nobody gives a fuck. Is that just me or I'm tripping? I don't know. Um, but I do love her aesthetic, though. But I just don't want to come off as, like, rude or mean because I do understand that some people do like Sweetie. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of y'all do like Sweetie. So if you are an Icy Girl or you are um, an Icy fan, what, what, fucking Ice Cube, Comment down below if you are genuinely excited for her music. Because I never came across anybody within the past few years who is sitting around waiting for Sweetie. Okay? Let's move on. Well, well, well. Moving on. Let's go ahead and get into the um, people's choice a little bit. All right? Uh, moving on. Nicki Minaj. She has won. All right? Best um, rap artist for the year. Okay? Um, this is great. This is great to see. Uh, some people were upset that she won over um drake okay but i don't drake has not been doing it for me i'm sorry drake has not been doing it for me um future no jack harlow no lotto <clears throat> why is she even nominated post malone mm -mm. travis scott and mm, cardi b um her team obviously paid to put her on the list because who cardi b hasn't even been dropping music this year like 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 the payola be showing in the most random ways like why the fuck is cardi b on the list like you know damn well y'all pay for that position like stop being weird anyway um nikki won Okay, and I will have to give it to her. Hip hop artist of the year, she got it like that. Like she's been consistently dropping music, consistently doing features, consistently putting out bodies of work. Has she not been dropping music videos? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, but she just dropped a good album. Okay, she just dropped a great album. And you know what's crazy though is didn't Doja Cat say she was the hip hop artist girl too this year? Like, didn't she say she was going to do hip hop and rap? Why she wasn't nominated on the list? Okay, nobody takes her. Um, rap seriously so that's why Doja Cat was nominated because I did see people say like oh Doja Cat released so much songs this year she was you know the rap girl rap girly but she does not make rap music and people love to claim that she's a rap girl but she's a rap pop girl and nothing wrong with that but just play on lane okay so Nicki definitely deserved it because she's really the only real rapper in my personal opinion that has been putting in that work in regards to like music you know in regards to just like pushing that pen and like giving something new to the table every single time okay um now if i had to give it to somebody else i probably would give it to drake um uh, but then again for me drake he hasn't really been doing it but since it's drake i would just give it to him because you know he's drake of course but yeah um and pretty much everybody else agrees that nikki um you know needs to win this award obviously you know it's pretty much obvious that her fans you know definitely voted and this was a fan voted show it's people's choice so people's choice of who they want to win and people just came around and just you know voted um but yeah um definitely a great thing definitely a great thing i feel like every time there is going to be like a um a fan voted show or fan voted award or whatever i feel like nikki gonna always win you know and that's the power of having a fan base that people don't really understand like so many people out here are chasing number one hits and chasing um millions of views but like all you really need to do is just cultivate a fan base and you're naturally going to have those things. If you cultivate a community or a fan base around your music or your art or your, or your passion or whatever, like you're going to naturally have a group of people who are going to give you a number one, you know, just because they love you and your music. Okay. I feel like more artists these days need to prioritize building fan bases. Like nobody is building a fan base anymore. Like the bars, I feel like is probably one of the strongest fan bases that has came out within the past decade. Um, of these artists you know nobody is sitting around and like cultivating community nobody is sitting around on twitter talking with their fans and like genuinely like giving them money for school and genuinely talking to them like a lot of these artists are kind of selfish they just want you to buy my music buy my merch buy my tickets spend money on me spend money on me bitch pay my rent pay my car pay for my bands like 
how about you spend time and make you know a, a, a genuine genuine relationship with your fans and maybe you're gonna get some you know awards maybe you're gonna get a number one maybe you're gonna get you know a sold out tour you know like i think that's really the secret to nikki's success in terms of her like you know fan voted awards or shows and tickets is, is that she simply has built a community and people who are people who genuinely give a fuck about her you know what i'm saying like a lot of these artists nobody gives a fuck about them you know what i'm saying like outside of payola outside of like fraudulent you know business tactics to become a successful artist they keep forgetting the key point and that's having a fan base so i'm not mad nikki won her award because you know she has fans who are gonna actually vote okay now moving on moving on though okay um people wanted her to be at the award show the people's choice awards but like obviously she can't be there because she was obviously you know she's obviously getting ready for tour and I don't want Nikki's focus to be, you know, at an award show trying to learn that choreo, learn these songs, and do tour. Like, nah, you got, like you got to focus on one. So people were upset that um, that she was not performing on stage, but I don't really give a fuck. And I promise you, Nikki doesn't either. So, you know, she's doing a, a sold out tour, world tour. I'm pretty sure that's way more important than, you know, a little show that's gonna be for like what an hour or two. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, yes, that's that. Congratulations to Nikki for winning her award at the People's Choice. And she actually extends her record as the most awarded rapper in history with 419 awards. All right. Most awarded rapper in history. Not just female rapper. Not just. No, this is the most awarded rapper. Okay. And this just makes the Grammys look even more of a scam. How are you the most awarded rapper with no Grammys? Like, like, like. That literally shows you that the Grammys don't matter at all. Because she has the most awards. And a lot of people have all these damn scammies and are barely making it today. Barely making it today. They barely have a career today, okay? And Nikki's still getting sold out shows, sold out tours and, you know, awards and everything like that um, without a scammy. So it just shows you that you really do not need a scammy for her to be successful because Nikki has 419 awards outside of a scammy. And I promise you, okay? I promise you, 419 awards surpasses any worth of one single Grammy, okay? One single Grammy. Would you rather have three Grammys, okay, and not be the most awarded female rapper or be the most awarded female rapper with no Grammys? I'd rather be the most awarded female rapper. You know why? Because it shows that, like, my validation is not in one single corporation. My validation is in multiple sources, and that makes me more credible because multiple people fuck with me. Multiple publications and shows and, you know, different people, like, they fuck with me. And, you know, it just shows the authenticity that, hey, I'm awarded over 419 times. I don't need a fucking scam. I don't need a Grammy to make me feel like I am somebody, okay? So congratulations on the People's Choice Awards. Congratulations on being, you know, extending your record as having the most awards. Let's move on, let's move on. Moving on, moving on. Um, Beyonce, all right? She has won for being the um, best R&B artist of the year, all right? And fans are not happy because they feel like she never was doing R&B music this year. They, like, she never was doing that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck is she even nominated in that category with the People's Choice? Okay, they feel like that's just really weird, okay? Now, she won the award, so obviously y'all agree too because you voted for her. Like, you knew what she was doing when you voted for her. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, personally, I feel like the real issue would have to be with the actual, um, you know, People's Choice show themselves, okay? Um... The fact that they nominated her there, it just shows you that, like, you know, like, you know. Okay, listen, okay. This is a really hot take, but, like, people, if you're black and you make music and you sing, you typically get boxed into the R&B category. And we know good and damn well that Beyonce's artistic direction was not R&B at all. But since she's a black woman and she sings and she's, you know, you know it, it, she gets boxed into R&B. And that's what these white, you know, companies and things do. Just because they kind of don't know where to place us. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we do music outside of the box, they still box us in. So, like, let's say, you know, Beyonce does do her, you know, a rock a rock um, album. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to put her in the proper category of rock because rock people, like, who, like, in these certain, like, you know, corporations and, you know, award shows, the stereotypical look for a rock character or rock singer is not a Beyonce. It's not a, you know... Uh, not a Beyonce. 
So they're never going to really put her in the proper, you know, category. That's just an example of, you know, I'm just saying the rock as an example. But, you know, she's black and she's a woman and she sings. So, the, no, like, it is what it is. We all know the Renaissance era was house beats, um, alternative, you know, different. We know that it was different. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, at least she won. I, I wouldn't really be complaining too much because she did win. You know, so Beehive, I don't really see the point of complaining like that for real, for real, because she did win the award for real. Um, but hey, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, people just want her to be treated fairly. And I feel like y'all are going to be upset this era because this is about to be the beginning of Beyonce not being treated fairly. She just dropped a country album. All right. We all know what predominantly race that is in country right now. They were literally just, you know, saying that we're not going to play her music on country radio because she's Beyonce. So, you know, the stereotypical, you know, things are already kicking in. And I hate it. I hate the fact that it's that way for us. Like, why can't we just make art and just be artists and be, you know, whatever we want to be? But it is what it is, unfortunately. We're going to have to always fight for our place in whatever space we go, whether it's jobs, whether it's music, whether it's, you know, just anything. We're going to have to always fight to be treated equally or treated as a member of this thing. Even if we're overqualified, like, we still have to fight to just show that, hey, like, I can be here too. I belong in this space too. I deserve this job too. I deserve to live here too. Like, you know, like we still have to fight, like just to prove that, you know, we belong in the same spaces. But that's my opinion on that. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Moving on to I Spice. People do not like this. They hate it actually. I Spice is one best new artist at the award show. They feel like, oh, why the fuck is she winning? Like she did it. But listen, y'all, I Spice, obviously the show was fan voted, okay? And apparently people want her to win, okay? Apparently majority of people want her to win, okay? Um, now, people like Cola Ray was nominated on the list. And I'm trying to figure out why is Cola Ray still nominated as the best new artist? Like, she's been the best new artist for like years, years, years now. Like, like why are y'all... So y'all trying to still give her a chance to, you know, break that door and it's just not happening anymore? So you're going to keep nominating her as the best new artist until she like makes it really happen? You know, I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. They're, trying to do. they're just trying to, like, force her to be a certain thing. But, yeah, Ice Spice won. Ice Spice won this award. Um, How do I feel about this? I like this, for sure. I love me some Ice Spice. I love her energy. It's just real, like, her. she really gives, like, a bad bitch energy for her. Like, real, like, bad bitch, for real. And that's why I really like her, Um, for sure, for sure. Um, But, I don't know. Her outfit looked a little funny. Her outfit definitely looked a little funny this award. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so Ice Spice winning. Now, personally, I think she did have a great year in terms of 2023, but moving on to 2024, we got she got to prove herself. She got to prove herself, and she got to do some new stuff. I keep I keep saying this. I keep saying I keep saying this. We need some new new Ice Spice, okay? Uh, but her album is coming out this year. Her album is coming out this year, so we're gonna be able we're gonna be able to really see what she's capable of. Hopefully, she does showcase more of her um artistic abilities with this next album um because right now it's giving limited okay but yeah that's my personal opinion on that let's move on let's move on child do y'all remember um that um ice spice actually had got um some thank you to shit trucks around atlanta okay and apparently lotto um lotto's fans or whatever found the um ice spice trucks okay in atlanta and they have like spray painted them and said um basically like stream sunday service and sunday service is um lotto's new song and they just put her album number 777 on the um truck so basically they vandalized okay um the trucks which is pretty interesting to see um now me personally lotto was just you Y'all, I feel like Lotto got her ass outside and she had her little black truck driver find these fucking trucks and erase this trucks. Because Lotto, don't nobody give a fuck about you in Atlanta, okay? Listen, trust me, honey, trust me. I heard about you, okay? They don't like you because they heard you're not really from there. Ooh, they don't like you because they, they heard that you're really from Ohio, okay? So ain't nobody in Atlanta repping you this hard. Ain't nobody in Atlanta coming out for you, okay? Lotto went out her house at three in the morning and went on a fucking hunt for these trucks. I will not be surprised if it comes out that Lotto was the was the one who did this her damn self. 
Okay, Lotto, why you mad? Why you mad? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's just my personal opinion on that. It kind of give corny. But Lotto always gave, gave me corny vibes. Even before the whole Nikki collab thing, whatever happened, went down. Um, it kind of gave me corny. It just did. It just, she kind of gave me like forcing her accent, forcing the Atlanta flow, forcing this like urban community type of thing with whole time, girl, you're from the suburbs. Like whole time you're from the suburbs. And there's nothing wrong with nothing. There's nothing wrong with being from the suburbs. I'm from the suburbs too. Okay. But you do not, I'm not out here acting like I'm like a hood, like tough body uh, like, real, I'm not trying to put on that persona, like, if you from the suburbs, be from the suburbs, if you from the hood, be from the hood, if you from the city, be from the city, if you from, like, I don't know, if you from anywhere, be, be, rep that, you know, but don't try to rep something else just so you can fit in with the culture, it just looks forced, and you don't fit in, like, Lotto does not have a spot in the industry, like, yes, she makes music, but, like, she doesn't have her own, like, lane, you know what I'm saying, she kind of just is there, like, she's kind of just there, simply because she's not authentic, like, when you're not when you're not authentic like it shows and people can tell and like when you just are not authentically yourself in whatever space you go to you're not going to be, be successful i mean you, you may be successful but you won't really be as successful as you possibly can be because people can smell fraudulent people can smell f like fake shit like when a bitch got fake shoes on there me i can smell the fucking plastic from china a mile away you know what i'm saying like why your lv said lp get that fixed boo get that fixed all right um, but yes, that's my personal opinion on that. What y'all think about this? You know, what y'all think about the truck situation? How y'all feel about Lotto and her, um, her, her fake persona? <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, oh, y'all, just when I thought that the rumors are like really fake, y'all, every single day we're getting like new information regarding Brianna's next rollout. Like we're getting new information. We're getting new updates. Um, she got a, a snake in her camp. That's what it is. Because why are we getting all this information regarding your next album? Why the hell am I knowing how many albums you're making? Okay? I should not. We should not know this shit. Okay? Why do we never hear about this stuff with Beyonce? Okay? It's always a snake in the camp. I promise you. These artists got snakes in their camp. Rihanna, double check. All right. Anyway, um, Rihanna is working on two new albums, y'all. Um, R9 will be more pop and dance and EDM. And R10 is more reggae um, type of beat, okay? Now, R9, okay, y'all know what R9 means. Like, Rihanna's nice album. You know, when people have, like, um, the album coming out, they use their name. And then they, y'all know what the fuck is going on. Anyway, um, Rihanna, the rumor is that R9 is not similar to Anti. It is more similar to Talk That Talk and Unapologetic, okay? And... Mm, I'm kind of happy it's not similar to Anti because if she tried to recreate Anti, I wouldn't want that because it would just... I love Anti Down. I love Anti Down, but I don't want her to recreate a big moment. I just don't like that. Um, but um, being similar to Talk That Talk and Unapologetic, for me, I like that. I do like that. I love Unapologetic, but Talk That Talk... Mm, I don't know. I like Talk That Talk, but I love Unapologetic more. Um, Unapologetic has um, Nobody's Business. It has Pour It Up. You know, it has Diamonds. It has so many good songs um, on that album, um, on Unapologetic. Um, but, you know, I feel like Rihanna's album, it doesn't really matter what sound she goes for. It's still going to be successful. It's still going to do numbers. It's still going to be popping. It's still going to be... A good body of work like it does not matter what she really does honestly um and i think that people don't really understand that because they feel like oh um rihanna needs to recreate this album recreate this type of sound i don't think like rihanna doesn't have to do that rihanna's rihanna she can literally like i say she can literally get on the track and fart for for like three minutes it's gonna go number one because it's rihanna, because it's rihanna you know what i'm saying um but the reason why i, I believe these rumors now is because um, her man is saying she's dropping an album soon. Um, we have footage of her on set, you know, in Paris. Uh, we have insiders, snakes in the camp, leaking information about her next two albums coming out. Like, we have so much information right now regarding Rihanna's next album. So, I feel like it's actually coming. Like, it's actually going to be here. And, um, I feel like it, it could be here any second for real. It could be here really any second. But, you know, we're going to have to see what's going on. We're going to have to see what's going on with that. Uh, but I'm going to be here. I'm going to tune in. Listen, when Rihanna drops her album, don't text my phone. Don't call my phone. Don't do nothing. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tuned in. For real, I'm tuned in. All right? 
That's kind of how I was with Pink Friday 2. I said, y'all, when Pink Friday 2 come out, don't call me. Don't call my phone, all right? But yes, y'all, that's my opinion on that. What y'all thinking, what y'all thinking. But yes, y'all, I don't want this video to be any longer than it is because it is pushing 25 minutes. And I don't know if I want to do any more longer videos than this because it's pretty long now. And I, I ain't never done no video 25 minutes. Like, it, that shit's fucking crazy. But I, I have more fun doing longer videos because I feel like I can really just, like, just speak my mind and, like, really go for it. But yes, y'all, that's all I got for you in today's video um be sure to comment down below we can chat you know discuss everything and just have a you know good dialogue and you know good conversation okay let's talk about it let's talk about everything and yes y'all i'm gonna see you in the next video be safe